Hi everybody, this is Ingram. I'm one of the Minecrafters, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Sfax Pure BDCraft Texture Pack uh, with support for the Volts Mod Pack, which is part of the Technic Launcher. So if you go to the site themindcrafters.com, down on the side here in the What We Use section, you'll see Sfax Pure BDCraft plus Volts in the Texture Pack section. We're going to go ahead and grab that. That'll bring us to this page, and the base idea here is that there's two files. There's the base Sfax Texture Pack and then there's the volt patch files for that texture pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab those two files. We're going to download them. We need the uh, M Minecraft 1.47. That's what's currently supported by volts. I'm going to run at 128x, but there are 128, 64, 32, and even 16-bit versions or uh, resolution versions for this mod pack. So go ahead, get those files downloading. And what we're going to do is we're going to take those two files and we're going to merge them together into one combined pack. If I go too fast here, look in the description for a link to this tutorial and this thing will walk you through everything I'm going to do in this video. So once we have our two files downloaded, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the base. We're going to take that. We're going to put it on the left. I follow this format all the time. I find it tends to make things a little bit easier to follow along with. We're going to take the patch files, we're going to put them on the right. Now the idea is very simple here. If you have WinRAR, this is an extremely easy process. Grab all the files and the patch zip, drag them in. When prompted, use update mode, add and replace files. Hit OK. That'll make the zip file of the base now contain the patch files. So we're going to take and we're going to rename it a little bit and make it indicate that it now has volts. Then what we're going to need to do is we're going to take that new folder that we've just created and we're going to, let's say we can delete this guy here, we don't need him anymore. We're going to take that new modified and patched texture pack folder and we're going to actually put it in the texture packs folder of Minecraft itself. So there's two ways to do this. You can either click this texture packs button and then click the open texture pack folder button as well. That'll open up the folder. If that doesn't work for you, you can go to your C drive, go to your username, app data, roaming, Technic Launcher, grab the Volts folder, and then the Texture Pack folder as well. And all we're going to do is we're going to take that zip file we just made and drop it right in there. Now as soon as we've done that, you can see Minecraft has already picked it up. It should look exactly like this. Um, if it doesn't, then you've done something wrong. You probably have to start over. Go ahead and click Done. That'll select and load. This will take a while um, as everything gets loaded into Minecraft. And there we go. We've loaded up our uh, Volts world, and you can see how everything is completely sfaxified which is an absolutely awesome improvement over the nasty default textures of Minecraft so there you go you guys have officially loaded uh, the Sfax Pure BDCraft texture pack with the volts add-on uh, textures as well guys thanks for watching if you have any questions comments or concerns um, please leave us a, a note uh, either on the blog at theminecrafters.com or here on the video channel and we'll try and get back to you if you have anything you'd like to see us do, build, explain, please let us know as well. Um, as always, thanks for watching and stay poised.